Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, get this fixed here. All right. We got a good one for you. What the heck? Give me one second. Let me get this set up, y'all. All right. Sorry about that. All right. We're all good. All right. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. We got a good one for you today. Going to get into Ishmael Davis and Troy Williamson on the uh, Dalton Smith card. It's a good little fight. It should be entertaining. A lot of the other fights, I thought, uh, you know, these fights may be stinkers. Not this one. Uh, this one's fitting to be a good fight. So before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to bring down the house, uh, betting on the sport of boxing. There's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble. I use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um, but if you do, this is the channel for you. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. You get the link. You get the link of the the lock, the lock of the week. Uh, it's guaranteed to make you money. Uh, we make money every single week. We haven't missed recently. We keep going four and zero, four and one every single week. Join the Patreon. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into uh, today's show. It's an interesting fight. Because both guys got a, a real chance to win this fight. Uh, I, I, I didn't like Ismail Davis until I really studied this tape. He's, he's not bad. Um, strong. Little guy. Yeah, I don't, little guy. Shorter guy. Mechanical. Uh, you know, good. He, he's not smooth, right? He's a, he's a little mechanical in, in his movement. He can switch between both stances. So, like, there's some athleticism to him. He just seems stiff. Like, he needs to loosen up a little bit. Good puncher. Good angles. He's got a good arsenal of punches. He throws some shots wide. Uh, he kind of reminds me a little bit of John Pascal. Not quite as as athletic and as fast as Pascal. But he reminds me a little bit of John Pascal. But he can fight in, in both stances. He's powerful and strong as hell. He throws everything with intentions. Uh... Super dangerous on the inside. Really, really good on the inside. Has a wide a range of punches. But like a, a, any mechanical pressure fighter, he's in front of you to be hit. He's not a difficult guy to hit, and that's what's going to make this fight fun. He stands right in front of you. He's right there to be hit. Uh, he, he bullies his way in. He can. He, and he, he's strong as hell. He can use his strength to create space. Right, and he can nail you with the right hand or the left hand if he's in in in, in the southpaw stance, which he switches back and forth between. Or he can use his strength to close the space, and you really can't keep him off of you. He's so strong. Good, good combination punches on the inside, on the outside. He doesn't jab like he leaves a lot to be desired on the outside. He can switch it, like I said, constantly coming forward, strong, not ultra quick, but not slow either. His whole fight's on the inside. He's got to get the fight on the inside so he can break you down over time. He's a good body puncher. He picks his shots well. He throws good combination. He has uppercuts. He's got a bunch of things that he can land and land effectively on the inside. That's his key to winning. Troy Williamson also likes to come forward. He's got a little more skills on the outside. He can get wild, but he uses his jab. Not enough either, but he uses it better than, than uh, Ishmael Davis uses his jab. Troy Williams is down for his movement. He, he really can't deal with movement. Fortunately for him, Davis isn't really a mover. I think Williams is a little bit more athletic, but he, he also comes straight in. And he's easy to hit. And he can't trace down a moving target. He's got a little bit of head movement more than Davis. Like if you said who's a better, more responsible defensive fighter. It's Williamson, but he's not good at it, right? Like, both these guys make their bones on the attack. Um, he's not a volume guy. I, I think he's going to lose rounds on volume, and it, he's 
got to throw more. He's got to use that jab more and throw in combinations more to keep Davis on the outside. He can't let Davis inside because Davis is a much better fighter on the inside. Davis is a really good fighter on the inside. Um, and he shells up. He can't shell up like that. He can't shell up. He's got to let his hands go more. I don't think he's a huge hitter. I know his knockout ratio is pretty good, right? His knockout ratio is uh, he's got 14 knockouts in his 20 wins, which is pretty good. Uh, but he doesn't seem to be a big hitter. He, he, he knocked out Cheeseman, about killed Cheeseman. But besides that, he hasn't got knockouts in any, against any of his other high-quality opponents. He also misses badly on some shots. Like, he gets wild, and, and like he'll, he'll, he'll throw straight shots that just miss wildly. So it makes it easy to counter, and he's going to be off balance. He's going to be out of position. So movement gives him fits, and he's not a great fighter on the inside. He wants to come forward. He wants to use his jab, and he wants to make space that way. I think this is a bad fight for him. I, I think ultimately Davis can close the distance on him and get on the inside. Like he's not a volume guy. He's, I don't think he's a huge hitter. Although I'm not saying he has no power. Obviously, he has some power. He's got 14 knockouts. I, I, I don't think he's, he's going to put a whole ton of fear in Davis with his power, is what I'm saying. I don't think he's going to be able to keep Davis on the inside. On the outside, I mean, Davis is going to be able to get onto the inside. So how do we make money on this fight? Let's pull up. Let's pull it up. Let's pull up. And, of course, I am on the wrong fight because I always am. It's Mal Davis and Troy Williamson. Let's get rid of that. This line's getting worse and worse. The line really is, is getting worse and worse. Um I'm going to do this. I like Ishmael Davis on the money line. Safe bet, 35-71. Pretty safe bet. I'm going to leave it at that. I was going to put Davis in by technical assist. I really like the odds. I think this is a good bet. You can make it a smaller bet if you want. It pays pretty well. A $50 bet there is going to pay $70. Um, and a one times bet on Ishmael Davis on the money line, minus 280, makes you 3571. $100 bet makes you 3571. If you wanted to bet that on that, that what you win on that fight, if you wanted to risk that a little bit and then put that on uh, Ishmael Davis by decision, which I, I think is ultimately going to happen, it's going to make you 50 bucks. A 36 bucks is going to make you 50 bucks. It's not bad. It's something you might want to consider if you want to, you know, because we're going to win that. Ishmael Davis is going to win a fight. If you want to make a smaller bet on Ishmael Davis by decision, you know, you're going to risk your winnings. You're going to break even, or you could win really big. The official bet for the money for the fight is Ishmael Davis on the money line, minus 280, to your normal one times bet, uh, 135.71. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, remember, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. The lock of the week. Uh, the Patreon is just $5 a month to get the lock of the week. You can ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap, any single fight. There's a free t-shirt involved. I know you all love that. Um, and, and way more perks. Join the description. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. It's March 23rd, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.